welcome to this video in this video I shall introduce to you a really fun topic called scratch after that we will learn what is a sprite and how to add and delete a sprite as well as a backdrop let's get started the first thing we will do is start off with an activity I would like you to grab your color pencils and some paper and let's draw our favorite cartoon character these are few cartoon characters that you may like to draw now go ahead and pause your video and draw your favorite cartoon character but quickly come back so I can introduce scratch to you welcome back I'm sure all of you had a lot of fun drawing your favorite cartoon character now it's time for you to watch a short video about what is scratch question what can we create in scratch is it option a games option b animated videos option c stories and option d all of the above you have 15 seconds to decide and your time starts now The correct answer is option D. All of the above. Everything is possible with Scratch. Congratulations to all those who got it right. Now, let's open up the Scratch platform. All you have to do is open a Chrome browser and type in the URL scratch.mit.edu and press enter. If you've already installed the application on your device, go ahead and open the app. Once your application is open, click on Start Creating. When the Scratch tool opens up, you'll be able to see a cat on your screen. This cat that you see is called a sprite. Here's a short video to tell you a little bit more about what is a sprite. Let's learn the main components of Scratch. Sprite, it is a graphic character that performs actions in the Scratch projects. Scratch provides a number of inbuilt sprites. Cat is the default sprite in Scratch. In Scratch, a person, place and a thing are all called sprites. We use sprites in our project. All these sprites that are used in the program will be displayed in the sprite list. The sprite will appear on a stage. Here's a short video about what is a stage. Stage. It is the main working area where the sprite moves, performs actions as per the given instructions. Here, you can watch stories, play games, and run scratch projects that you have created. It is divided into X and Y coordinates. It is displayed on the bottom of the screen. It indicates the position of the sprite. Here, you have the name of the sprite. In the size, you can increase or decrease your sprite size. In the direction, you can change your sprite direction.
The stage is the output of your program. It shows you how you've programmed it to look like and behave. You can often refer to it when you're testing your program. Where do you write your program? Well, you write your program in the scripting area. Here's a short video clip about what is the scripting area. Script. It is a collection of stepwise instructions that are given to a sprite to do a specific task. A script consists of at least two blocks. Script area, it is the place where you can create script for a sprite to do a specific task. The script is created by dragging the instructions from the blocks palette and dropping them stepwise with each other. A script is also called a program. Let us learn how to drag and drop the blocks on the script area. First, you can select any function from the palette. You can click on any block. Just give a left click, hold it, drag it and then drop it. Now let's see how simple it is to add and delete a sprite. There are three ways to add sprite to the stage. You can draw your very own sprite in Scratch using your creative skills. You can upload a picture from your computer to use as a sprite or you can choose a sprite from the library in Scratch. We will choose a sprite from the library in this video. Hover the mouse cursor over the blue circle with the cat face icon in the lower right part of the screen. This is the choose a sprite menu. Click on the menu item that looks like a magnifying glass. This will take you to the sprite library. You can choose a category at the top to only show sprites in that category if you want or you can just scroll down to see all of the sprites in the library. If you hover a sprite in the library with the mouse without clicking it, sometimes the sprite will move or change colors. That means that the sprite has multiple costumes. If we hover over the cat flying, it shows all the other costumes for that sprite. Extra costumes can make it look like your sprite is doing something like flying. We are going to choose the cat flying sprite. Click on it to add it to the stage. If you decided that you do not like a sprite on the stage, you can delete the sprite from the stage. Then we click the little trash can icon next to it to delete it from the stage. There we have deleted a sprite. Yay! It's activity time! Now you can add your favorite sprite onto the stage. Go ahead and pause the video but do quickly come back so we can make our stage even more lively and creative. To make our screen more lively, all we have to do is add a backdrop to it. If you are wondering what is a backdrop, a backdrop simply means background. Here's a short video clip on how to do it. There are three different ways of adding your backdrop to the stage. First option, you can choose your backdrop from the paint option. You can use your creative skills to draw your backdrop. Second option, you can upload your backdrop from your PC, that is your computer, and you can use it as a backdrop. Last option, you can choose your backdrop from the backdrop library so you can click on this green color magnifying glass. You will have different categories on the backdrop here. You can click on that category and that respective category will be opened on your screen. You can click on a backdrop and that will be appearing on the screen. In order to edit the backdrop you have added, you can go to the backdrop on the left side of your screen. 
When you click on that, the selected backdrops will be appearing. Thus, you can use these tools to change the backdrop. If you want to duplicate a backdrop, you can right click on the backdrop and click on duplicate. Thus, the same backdrop will be duplicated. If you feel that your backdrop is not suiting your stage, you can click on the little trash icon on the top right corner and then click to delete it. Then you can go back to your code section to see your backdrop on the stage. To change your backdrop, first you need to select a backdrop from the backdrop library. So I'll click here and choose a backdrop. See it has been added. I'll click on the stage, go to the backdrops option in the palette and if I want to add more, I can add more backdrops from the option here. So I'll click here, I'll add few more backdrops here from the library. So yes, I have got so many backdrops here and I can choose from any one of them. So this is how we can change a backdrop. See, it has appeared on a stage. Here's another activity. Go ahead and add a backdrop of your choice onto the screen. You can pause the video but do come back quickly so we can have a short summary. In this video, we learned what is a sprite and what is a backdrop. We also saw how to add and delete a sprite and backdrop. So here's a simple assignment. I would like you to add two sprites onto your stage and also change the backdrop. It's really simple and a lot of fun. So go ahead and try it. That's it for this session. See you in the next one.